Hello everyone, in this tutorial video, I'm going to discuss to you how to define or create user-defined methods in JSF. As we all know, they are called methods in Java. So the same here in JSF, they are called methods. In other programming languages, they are called functions. So user-defined functions. But before that, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so like I said a while ago, let's create or define a user-defined method. So how do we create user-defined methods? So, in this example, we will create or define two methods, total marks and remarks. But before I will uh, do these things, let me discuss to you first what are methods. So, like I said a while ago, in other programming languages, these are what we call functions. So, functions are sub-modules or sub-programs that you can uh, separate into what we call methods or functions and if you need that method all you need to do is to call its name so in other words for every method that you create there is a name assigned for that so like i said it is it had or it will have a series of statements wherein if i call that method it will execute those series of statements so something like that so you can call the method at any given time, at any number of times. It will depend on how you will use it and it will depend on the requirements of the problem. So something like that. So we have here an example actually. Here I have getters here and setters. So if I need my getters, let's say get Q2. If I need my Q2 here, set Q2 or get Q2, All I need to do is to call its name, so something like that. And it will execute all the statements inside the Q2 method, right? So as simple as that. Now, I already have a setup program here wherein if I will run it, it will give me something like this. Okay, so let me run it first so that you will see how it works. So as simple as this, when I submit, it will just get the data that I inputted and display those. Okay, but what we want to do now is let's create a user-defined method wherein I will get the total of these marks. So 1 plus 2 plus 3, that will make it 6. So let's make it simple as that first. So we'll create a method that can return the total marks that we inputted so we will put here total marks so something like that and so like I said a while ago it's already set up okay you will understand this if you already watch my video about how to create these files here so basically we will have the index file which we will have this design here so as you can see we have here and so Along with this form that we created, we have to define here the bin file. And the name of my bin file is my bin. So it is here, right here, this is my bin file. Okay, so I just declared here, encapsulated variables q1, q2, q3, and I created setters and getters for each. Okay, so after which, once we have that, the displaying of the data will be or processing of data will be displayed in this file which is the output.xhtml which is defined right here okay for you to understand this setup i am encouraging you to watch my previous videos about how to create first the index file wherein you can put there all your controls like text box text area the button radio button something like that and so I think you can watch first this here how to get form data 
Okay? And after that, how to create or save and run JSF application. So I think this one is the first that you need to watch and this will be the second and so on. This will be the third. Okay, so something like that. So that you will have a better understanding of the topic that I am discussing right now. Okay, so everything is set up. All we need to do is to apply the problems that we need to solve. So here it is. So I would like to create a method that is called total marks and it should return the total marks. So it should return 6 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3. That's what we want to do. Now the question is where do we write our user defined methods? So in this case, we can write the user defined methods here in our bin file. Okay, our bin file. The name of our bin file is mybin.java, which we already declared here in our index file, mybin. So you can write it right after well actually you can write anywhere but i am suggesting here actually here it should be inside the bin file i mean my bin method so it could be here or line 19 or 23 or here line 40 okay so i will just write it here so that we can see it it's at the top of the program and so just like java uh, coding it will be the same here so if you have a background of java coding then i'm sure you understand what i am saying if not just continue listening or watching this video so that you will uh, understand better what i am trying to say so public since we want a method that can return the total mark so therefore we should have return data type so let's use the int as our data type because it will return the total marks so I'm just going to call it as total marks. That's the name of my method. Open it. There you go. Okay. Because our problem is just simply to return the total marks, nothing else. And so therefore, I can just simply say return Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. So as simple as that. So when I call this method total marks, it will execute Q, Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. It will be returned D or it will return the total of this Q1, Q2, and Q3 or the sum. Okay, so how do we display it? We will just display it here. So I'm just going to say here total marks. There you go. So I'm going to call now the function or the method and that is the I'm going to use the the name of the bin file which is my bin that total works there you go as simple as this and so if we try to run now okay i'm going to close this one first so that we have a fresh copy of the new program so i'm just going to input numbers here like that and so once we click submit we should have the total marks there you go so we're calling it here and so it will execute from here and since it will return the value so therefore whatever is the return value that will be the one to, to be displayed here okay so as simple as that some programmers they might do something like this instead of using the encapsulated variables they will be using the getters Okay, so the getter so we can say get q1 so something like that so plus get q2 plus oops i forgot my open and close get q3 there you go so i think it will be the same okay so let's try to uh let us try to refresh and it gives you the same answer. Let's try to input a different value or values. Let's say something like that. There you go. So it will be the same. Okay. So this is an example of writing or defining a method or user defined method in JSF. So you just put it in your bin file. Okay. So as simple as this. 
Now, let's have another one. This time, I want to create another method, user-defined method, and that is what we call remarks. No? The purpose of this is to return if it is passed or failed. So it will return a string value depending on the total marks if it is passed or failed. So for instance, let's, let's make some conditions. So the condition is if it is more than 30, then it is passed. Alright? Otherwise, it is failed. So that means less than or equal 30, that means it is failed. So something like that. Okay, so that's our condition. So let's make another, like we can put it there or we can put it before this uh, total marks method. So I can just put it anywhere. So we can just put it here. So I'm just going to say public because the return value will be series of characters. So that means it is a string. And so therefore I will say here, public string remarks. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable. Let's call it rem. That will be the one to hold pass or failed. The string passed or failed. And that is also the rem, the variable rem, that we will return. Okay, because that is what we want. Which one? The pass or the failed? So that's the value of rem. Okay, so now I'm going to test. If I'm going to test the total marks. Okay. In JSF, it is allowed to call a method inside a method. So total marks is a method. So I'm going to call it inside the method. Is that possible? The answer is yes. If total marks is greater than, let me see again. Okay, it's greater than 30. That means my rem is equal to past. Otherwise, my rem is equal to failed. And that is the one we will return. Return rem. So when I call remarks again, it will compute whatever is the return value of this. Is it the return value? Is it greater than 30? If yes, pass. Then return rem. Otherwise, if it is not passed, it will go to rem is equal to failed. Then return rem. That's the one to be returned. And that's the one we want to print. And so therefore, to print that, I'm going to put here br so that it will go to the next line. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it there. So I'm just going to say here remarks. And here, I'm just going to say here remarks to call it my bin that remarks. Okay, so let's see now. I'm going to refresh now. Let's see if it is going to uh, evaluate it. There you go. It's passed. Okay, so let's have a, a new value. This time, let's have a lesser values. So this one should be failed. There you go. It's failed. Okay, so you can put all your methods inside your bin file. So something like that. Okay, so let's have another uh, example of this, which one, which is a little bit lesser code than this one. So I'm just going to copy this one. Let's make a shortcut of this because some programmers may uh, have a different solution. No, it doesn't matter as long as it gives us the correct output result that will just be fine. So what I'm going to do, well, I, I will not use that anymore. And then instead of like that, I will just simply say return past return failed and I don't need this anymore. So a little bit shorter than the previous version that, that we have. So I'm going to save and let's try to run it again. I'm going to refresh this part. Let's see if it is or it will give us the same result. So the same result. Let's put a different values. Let's say 15, 20, 25. All right, it's exactly 60. So it's passed. That's how we define user-defined methods in JSF. I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one.